And we are here on the air, May 27th, my friends, Pastor Rick Ministry Podcast at Network. Late night, 12.30, bottom of the hour, we are going live on Spreaker, Radio.co, Tin Can, and more, plus uh, Anchor, uh, CastBox, and of course, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. Welcome, friends, coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. Good morning to you, brothers and sisters. Church is on. Coffee's on. Marcia, my friends, it has been a long time. I am still having uh, some major problems, major issues with the Wi-Fi. Uh, that's why I'm doing the audio part of the podcast here on Spreaker. I, I couldn't uh, couldn't get the uh, connection well or set uh, well enough to uh, do the video part of the podcast on Restream. So I had a couple of them uh, reset and rescheduled. I took them out and, uh, well, we'll do a test run here and see how it goes. And get that thunder going before we start the church service tonight, uh, this morning. Uh, again, bottom of the hour, Pastor Rick Ministry Podcast Network here on Spreaker and more. Uh, listen, we're going to continue our Bible study on, uh, let's see, on Job chapters 35 to 37. And, of course, uh, this was supposed to be the one that was supposed to be on the 12th, uh, Sunday, late night. Uh, I kept scheduling it and rescheduling it, resetting it for Restream, and the Internet is just really, really awful right now. And uh, so I'm going to wait, give it a day or two, and uh, we'll just continue and pick up from there. And I do have some scheduled out already, but uh, I wanted to make sure... Uh, you know, everything uh, was good for you. So let's bring it on in. Let's pray it on in, my friends. You know how we do it here. Coffee, Bibles, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters for your highlighters, my friends. Uh, I'm glad you guys are here. Church is on. Doors are open. Hope you guys are doing well, uh, you know, over the weekend here, of course, and every day. Praying for you. So let's pray it in and get started here. Uh, I do have that fresh cup of coffee with me here this morning. Heavenly Father, I come before you again, always humbled, grateful, honored uh, to preach this message, to be called to preach this message, preach this word that you have uh, set up. You, you, it's all you, Father God. And uh, I'm always amazed and uh, just uh, grateful uh, that uh, you have called me to this. Now, I want to, again, just pray over uh, everything every everyone and of course everything going on right now it is just so chaotic out there the devil's just running rampant doing his uh his thing and uh father god we gotta hold on to you so that we can do your thing father god it is amazing uh you know uh, just the power to the just everything father god so i thank you for that uh, for this mission that you've called me to I'm praying for, of course, the Wi-Fi connection here to keep this church going, to keep this podcast uh, rolling through uh, as the numbers increase. Father God, you have called me to uh, to preach this good news gospel uh, to all nations, all kindreds, all tongues. So thank you for that. Now, again, praying over the Wi-Fi. Praying for family, friends, everybody uh, connected, everybody hearing, watching, listening to the podcast. Father God, reach them uh, as you do and, uh, you know, protect them, watch over them, guide them, give them that strength and that hope and that courage. So, Father God, I turn this over to you right now. I give it over to you right now as we have church here this morning. Uh, just always grateful and humbled for the opportunity. So thank you and call us in Jesus' name right now. I pray. Amen and amen. All right, my friends, let me get some volume level check here. I, that's why we're doing the audio. Again, I always enjoy doing the audio podcast just to kind of get a test run on the equipment. Uh, we've been having some major malfunctions. I lost my tablet that does not work anymore, so I am looking at finances to maybe get another one here very soon uh, in the next few weeks here, so that will be nice to have, just an additional uh you know, uh, an additional uh, item to podcast out of. So, uh, you know, get this word out. 
Uh, all right, so you guys got your coffees, got all that good stuff. Uh, again, going in and continuing our series in Job chapter 35 to 37. Uh, as we got some opening scriptures, of course. Uh, amen. Going into our podcast notes, my friends. Amen. Sending shout outs to my little sisters. Uh, my sons who are out there, I am praying for them. And of course, praying for everybody on the Facebook uh, groups, the uh, church groups out there. Y'all know who you are. We got uh, Brother Mark and Pam and Riley over at Christian Watchers for the Heavenly Signs. Amen. And of course, uh, we got Pastor Anna uh, Soman Numa Padilla. Padilla. Amen. <laughs> I'll get it right one of these days. But anyway, check her out Facebook, YouTube, and more. Uh, friends, wherever you happen to listen to your podcast or, you know, uh, of course, watch your podcast, check it out, sign up, friends. All right, don't forget, uh, yeah, just don't forget, <laughs> man, hey, I don't know what I'm doing here, friends, we're on the air, we're live this morning, doing an audio podcast live on Spreaker, uh, do you have your notes with you, my brothers and sisters? Uh, I do hope so, uh, because, uh, you know, that's what that's what I do here. Uh, now, real quick, I do want to send a quick shout-out to all the new subscribers on the YouTube channel. Man, is that great. That's awesome. Appreciate you guys dropping by and signing up and uh, subscribing uh, to the channel. That is amazing. I really appreciate you guys. And, of course, hey, don't forget, we got the old school uh folks that have been on there for a minute or two and uh i am grateful uh for that as well amen just doing a quick sound check here uh what do we got uh, i had to make sure we got the sound check going on uh yeah <laughs> let's get that church on its feet can we do that brother Anyway, uh, yeah, grab a seat and uh, have a seat in the front row there and uh, settle down. Let's uh, get to our podcast here again, having a little bit of uh, something going on with my headset. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's just the pots in the mixer need to be cleaned out or the pods there, but uh, something is scratchy. I don't know what that is, so... Anyway, we're plugged in live on Radio.co UK. Uh, Channel 3 are back up live recording right now. And, of course, on uh, Spreaker. So, uh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> man. So, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that. Uh, uh, the uh, problems on that uh, cord. I don't know what it is. It, it happened before. Uh, and I don't know if it's just a something's not connecting or something's not connecting <laughs> anyway well pull up your easy chair my friends your crate your box whatever you're happen to be comfy and sitting on this morning as we have our bible study uh we're going to go into our podcast notes my friends as i always like to do here of course you know i always like to uh, get that out and uh read uh, read some of the scriptures here so while this is all going on, I hope it's recording into the channel there. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. I had that problem before, and I had to disconnect and change everything and move everything out of the way. Uh, but, uh, hang on here. I don't know if it's the cords or the cables again, but uh, that's over on channel 3 out of the mixer. I don't know what it is, but uh, it sure is uh, annoying. <laughs> I don't know what it is going on with that stuff, but uh, it's uh, pretty major. And I had this problem before, and I couldn't fix it. I don't know. And then it just went away, uh, and now it came back. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. But anyway, let's get into our podcast notes, uh, my friends. Let's go ahead and do that uh, You know, while this is just doing its thing. Amen, right? Well, dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me. And I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. 
At this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward. Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me uh, an eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, friends, church, brothers and sisters, we pray, amen and amen. Now get a hold of me, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast over at uh, yahoo.com, the official email contact uh, for the ministry. I do appreciate each and every one of you uh, signing up and sending in and giving me your prayer requests because I do pray for, uh, of course, uh, pray for each and every one of you. Uh, amen, right? So, yeah, that's uh, that's the official email. Uh, of course, you know, on the social media, uh, Instagram, Pastor Rick over there, uh, and X, uh, you guys can sign up and, uh, you know, send in your prayer requests. I do answer those, uh, and I'll chat with you. Hey, give me a, give me a message there, and I'll, I'll chat with you. Amen. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, all right, let's continue. Serenity prayer, of course. Lord knows we need some serenity, my friends. That's right. We gotta, hey, we got to get excited about this word, my brothers and sisters. we got to sing it to the mountains, to the high tops, right? Now, come on, let's go. Uh, how about that serenity prayer? Let's go ahead and do that. Now, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as the pathway to peace. Taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right by surrender to his will. And that's the key right there, friends, if we surrender to his will, brothers and sisters. That's right. Now, uh, let's continue that, uh, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. You know, we talk about that new Jerusalem, friends, all the time here. Amen. All right, let's keep moving. How about that Lord's Prayer? Now, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, friends, forever and ever. Oh, you know what time it is. Boot up and suit up time. How about that whole armor of God, friends? Can you go to your Bibles uh, if you have them with you? And I hope you do because we're having some church right now. Uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Let's go ahead and check that out. Now, finally, my brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, uh, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints, now for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may, uh, let's see, may open my mouth, there it is, to make known the mystery of the gospel, right? Come on now. Uh, what else does he say here in verse 20, right? The last uh, last part of here, he says, uh, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, uh, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. That's right. Uh, speak boldly, friends, because God didn't give us the spirit of fear, but of love, power to sound mind. Amen. <laughs> I just 
over through my notes here uh across the top part of the other desk here uh amen right all right so there you go uh you are booted up and suited up konnichiwa domarigato my precious brothers and sisters in japan just coming across the desk here uh early morning well i think it's late night for them but uh, hey it's about 12 40 on your dial my friends you're tuned in to god's radio i'm just a voice crying out in the wilderness well crying out in the wilderness but i'm in the wilderness but i'm just crying out <laughs> hey man, get that thunder rolling as we get some coffee that's right all right that's right just a voice crying out my friends god's radio radio god 24 7 all the time every day playing what God wants me to do. <laughs> do it, just doing what God called me to do, my brothers and sisters. That's right. Excited to be here in the studio. Studio A, back up and running for at least an audio part of the podcast uh, until I kind of figure out again with her Wi-Fi and her internet connection and all that good stuff. It'll work out. I know it will. I just got to uh, be patient with it. And, uh, you know, we did get lines put in. And so now we're just waiting on the service, the company to come in and actually uh, do their part. Right. So we'll get back up on track again. But hey, in the meantime, uh, let's catch your breath. Slow down just a little bit. And uh, <laughs> let's just roll right into the Bible, my friends. Can you get your Bibles out, my brothers and sisters? Church, can you do that? Uh, as we have a church service this morning, amen, we're going to look at Job. Uh, I do want to continue that series, the Archive Bible Study series, by the way. We're going to look at Job chapters 35 to 37. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, if you get them, you, you, you know, you got them there, uh, give me a holler, give me an amen and a hallelujah, and let's get started. <laughs> right. Come on now. All right, friends. Let's go ahead and let's do some Bible reading here, friends. Amen. This morning, amen, take a deep breath, relax, and let's get into the Word of God. Now, chapter 35, uh, he says here, Elihu spake moreover and said. Again, I'm out of the King James Bible version, friends, just in case you didn't know. Now you know. Amen. All right, give me a second here. Before I even get started, <laughs> mercy, always oh, something here on the on the podcast, right? Anyway, we'll figure that out. All right, so let's go back over verse one, just in case you missed it there. I uh, didn't start it, but hey, let's do it again. Now, Elihu, he said, spake moreover and said, verse two, thinkest thou this uh, to the right, that thou saidest, uh, my richness is more than God's. For thou saidest, what advantage with it be unto thee? And what, as I'm struggling to read here, give me a second to adjust the lights. Uh, he says, for thou saidest, what advantage with it? Be unto thee, and what profit shall I have if I uh, says here, if I be cleansed from my sin? Now remember the side scripture here, folks. Uh Job twenty one thirty five on that one. I think that's what that is. All right, verse four. I will answer thee and thy compassion companions with thee job 34 verse 8 all right five look under the heavens and see and behold the clouds which are higher than thou job 22 verse 12 there uh verse 6 if thou sinnest what doest as we go to the next page what doest thou against him or if thy transgressions be multiplied, what doest thou unto him? Uh, Proverbs 8, 36, verse 7. If thou be righteous, what givest thou him? Or what receiveth he of thine hand? That's going to be over in Job 22, verse 2. 
Verse 8, the wickedness of thy wickedness may hurt a man as thou art, and thy righteousness may profit the son of man. Uh, 9, by reason of the multitude of oppressions, they make the oppressed to cry. They cry out by reason of the arm of the mighty. 10, but uh, none saith, where is God my maker who giveth songs in the night? Psalm 42, verse 8 there. All right, verse 11. Who teaches us, uh, us more than the beasts of the earth and maketh us wiser than the fowls of heaven? 12. Now, there they cry. But hope giveth answer because of the pride of evil men. Proverbs 1, 28. Now, surely God will not hear vanity. Neither will the Almighty regret it or regard it. Not regret it, but regard it. Uh, verse 14, although thou sayest thou or savest, thou shalt not see him, yet judgment is before him. And therefore, uh, truly thou in him, right? Or trust thou in him. See, I'm having issues with my glasses already. All right, and I got another set, but they're they're not even working either. So. We're going to just keep moving right along, friends. All right, stay with me here. All right, he says, uh, let's see, where were we at? Uh, how about 15 here? But now, because it is not so, he hath visited in his anger, uh, or angel, yet he knoweth it not in great extremity. 16, therefore doth Job open his mouth in vain? He multiplieth words without knowledge. Move on to chapter 36 in the book of Job. Now Elihu also proceeded, and he said, or and said, Suffer me a little, and I will shew thee that I have yet to speak on God's behalf. Now I will fetch my knowledge from afar, and will ascribe righteousness to my maker. For truly my word shall not be falsely. Uh, he that is perfect in knowledge is with me. And behold, God is mighty. And despiseth not any. He is mighty in strength. Amen. And wisdom, of course. Job 9.4 uh, He preserveth not the life of the wicked, but giveth right the poor that's over in verse 6 let's move on to 7 here now he withdraweth not his eyes from the righteous but with kings are they on the throne yea he doth establish them for uh, let's see forever and they are exalted all right verse 8 now he with or let's see, let's go to the eight. That's right. Uh, and if they be bound in fetters and beholden in cords of affliction, then he sheweth them their work and their transgressions that they have exceeded. Now he openeth also their ear to discipline and commandeth that they return from iniquity. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. Verse 12, But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword. Uh, and they shall die without knowledge. But the hypocrites in heart, uh, let's see, I believe that's heads up wrath or heeds up wrath, right? They cry not when he bindeth them. Romans 2, 5 there. They die in youth, and their life, let's see, uh, is among the unclean. Now, again, you guys know what I'm doing with the notes here, transcribing stuff, changing, not changing, but uh, just kind of uh, clearing up some of the older notes uh, in, the, in my Bible that I always read. And so that's the problem is that uh, some of the whiteout kind of took some of it out, so I'm having a little bit of a reading issue or, you know, seeing issue here. 
Well, let's keep going. Uh, judgment and justice, as we see here in the book of Job, and we're at uh, chapter 36 here, at about verse 15 this morning. So he delivereth the poor in his affliction, and openeth their ears in oppression. Right? Uh, or afflicted, of course, in verse 16. Even so, would we have removed thee out of the strait into a broad place? where there is no straightness, and that they, or that, which should be set on thy table, should be full of fatness. Verse 17, but thou hast fully, hang on here. All right, where are we at here? Uh, let's backtrack just a bit. Uh, I think 18 or so, right? Ah, we're just going to go there, right? No, 17, 18. Ah, uh, let's go to 18 here, folks. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, because there is wrath, beware lest he take thee away with his stroke. Uh, then a great ransom cannot deliver thee. Psalm 49, 7. Uh, verse, or, yeah, verse 19 here. Will he esteem thy riches? No, not gold, nor all the forces of strength. That's uh, Proverbs 11, 1. Now, desire not the night when people are cut off in their place. Take heed, in 21, uh, regard not iniquity, for this hast thou chosen rather than affliction. Psalm 66, verse 18 there, verse 22. Now behold, God, God exalteth by his power who teacheth like him. 23, of course, who hath uh, enjoined him his way, or who can say, Thou hast wrought iniquity. That's over in Job 34 10. All right, next verse here, uh, 24. Remember that thou magnify his work, which, uh, let's see, which men behold. Every man may see it man may behold it for or far off and behold god is great amen church god is great all the time and all the time god is good oh well, great we could say great right amen all right okay so let's go on to the next part here uh, neither can the number of his years be searched out for he maketh small uh, the gropes, or, or drops of water. Sorry about that. Uh, they pour down, right? Uh, let's see. They pour down rain, he says, according to the vapor thereof. Psalm 147, verse 8. Which the clouds do drop and distill upon man abundantly. Also, can any understand the spreading of the clouds or the noise of his tabernacle? And behold, he says in 30, Behold, he spreadeth his light upon it and covereth the, the bottom of the sea. Is that Job 37, verse 3 there? For by them judgeth he the people, he giveth meat in abundance. With clouds he covereth the light, and commendeth it not to shine by the cloud that cometh betwixt. Now, verse 33, friends, we see here. The noise thereof sheweth concerning it. The cattle also concerning the vapor. That's 1 Kings 18.41, friends. All right, you're at the top of the hour, brothers and sisters. Church is on. We're here in the studio a little after 1 a.m. on a Cool, crisp, 45, 47, between 45 and 47 degrees. There's your quick weather update. Let's get back to the scripture. How about 37, right? Uh, as we continue our uh, our Bible archive series here, study Bible. Let's go on to chapter 37, friends. Verse 1. And this also my heart trembleth and is moved out of his place. Ah, oh, he says here attentively the noise of his voice and the sounds that goeth out of his mouth. He directeth it under the whole heaven and his, oh mercy, <laughs> where am I at here on this one? 
Uh, is uh, lightning into the end of the earth, right? Something like that. Oh, uh, mercy. Let's see. I believe that's lightning, folks. Uh, I believe that's lightning in verse 3 here. Uh, into the ends of the earth. All right. Uh, after if a voice heareth. Oops. Oh, boy. Uh, Merith, right? A voice Merith. Yeah. Well, maybe that's here. No, Merith. All right. Uh, he thundereth with the voice of his excellency, and he will not say, uh, or see, not stay uh, them with his voice. Or let's see, when his voice is heard. There it is. I tell you, these glasses, friends, I don't know what it is, but I just got a new, well, not a new set, but I just got another set. And because uh, the other one's broke. Uh, I'm gonna have to invest in a in a glasses company. Anybody that uh, has got some good reading glasses, uh, let me know. <laughs> I might need them. So thank you for that. All right, let's roll on here. Uh, after it, a voice. Mer I, I'm gonna try to go over this again. I don't know what that word is. I can't really tell, but I think it's uh, Merith. Uh, he thundereth it with the voice of his excellency. He will not say. Uh, or stay them when his voice is heard. All right, let's move on, folks. So he says in five, God thundereth. Uh, Marvel loudly. What? <laughs> Mercy! I told you my notes are bad. Uh, bad, bad, bad. I think it's marvelously. That's kind of split the words here. Anyway, let's move on. So he says marvelously with his voice. There it is. Uh, great things doeth he, which we cannot comprehend, friends. For he seeth or saith to the snow, uh, Be thou on the earth likewise to me. And we move on. Uh, the small rain, and to the great rain of his strength. Psalm 147, 16. Folks, there you go. Verse 7, he sealeth up the hand of every man, that all men may know his work. Psalm 109, 27. Again, Job 37 here. Okay, uh, verse 8. Then the beasts go into dens and remain in their places. Verse 9, of course. Uh, out of the south cometh the whirlwind, and cold out of the north. By the breath of God, frost is given. And the breath of the waters is straightened. Uh, we got Job 38, verse 29 there. Also by watering, he weareth, or weareth, a thick cloud. He scattereth his bright cloud. It is turned round about by his counsels, that they may do whatsoever he commandeth them upon the face of the world in the earth. Though he causeth it to come, whether for correction or for his land or uh, for mercy. Exodus 9, 18 there. Now hearken unto this, O God, stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. Psalm 111, verse 2. 15, dost thou know when God disposed them and caused the light of the cloud to shine? Dost thou know the balancings of the clouds, the wondrous works of him, which uh, perfect in knowledge or is perfect in knowledge? How thy garments are warm when he quieteth the earth by the south wind, verse 18, hast thou with him spread out the sky, which is strong, and, a, and as a molten-looking glass. Pretty descriptive uh, words here, Francis. We continue our series of Job. Uh, amen. So, uh, let's uh, kind of go back over. He says, in molten looking glass that's genesis 1 6 back in the old uh part of the testament there uh amen right uh, the old school all right 19 teach us what we shall say unto him 
but we cannot order our speech by reason of darkness, as God speaks to Job, friends. Now, in 20, my friends, we see here, uh, shall it be told him that I speak? If a man speak, surely he shall be swallowed up. And now men see not the bright light which is in the clouds, but the wind passeth and cleanseth them. Fair weather cometh out of the north with God is terrible majesty. Touching the Almighty, we cannot find him out. He is excellent in power and in judgment, friends. In judgment and in plenty of justice, he will not afflict and there it is ah men do therefore fear him he respecteth not any that are wise of heart that's over in matthew 10 28 first corinthians 1 26 there and there you go friends we will stop on 38 and we'll do that on the next broadcast hopefully sooner than later i'm trying Friends, like I said, I'm still dealing with no Wi-Fi, very little Wi-Fi, and very little connection here, kind of running off my cell phone, uh, which doesn't help because I've got another uh, set of downloads going on on uh, channel, uh, what is it, uh, 1B, which is the alternate side of the studio here. Uh, same studio, but I just set up another uh, area to broadcast out of, uh, you know, instead of my office part here. It's just, it's in the same studio it's just on the other side of the camera here so uh, a little bit uh, different alternate setup so anyway that is downloading and it has been downloading all week uh updates and all the all kinds of stuff happening on that one so that is why i'm still having issues with things hopefully soon so anyway i'm gonna do the best i can and uh, keep moving all right let's get my bookmark here we're gonna stop right there on 38, that's going to be the next broadcast. Like I said, hopefully sooner than later. Trying to seal up those gaps in the podcast schedule, friends. Just gotten off track here. Uh, I do appreciate your patience with all that. So until uh, things get back rolling again. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go on to Revelation. I always uh, kind of dig into that. We're going to look at chapters 1 through Three, friends. So, uh, if you will have your Bibles, make sure you got your Bibles with you in church here. We're going to continue, uh, and we're going to read through Revelation chapters one through three. I think those are really, really uh, important scriptures that we need to read, church. And uh, so let's uh, let's take a look at it, uh, if you will. Amen. Revelation chapters one through three. Let's go ahead and read that, friends. Now, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which shortly, uh, must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. That's John 3.32 there. Verse 2, who bear record of the word of of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Uh, three here. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time, church, is at hand. Luke eleven twenty eight. there. Now, John, to the seven churches, as we know, which are in Asia, Grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come. And from the seven spirits which are before his throne, Exodus 3.14, John 1.1. 1, 1. Let's go on to 5 here. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Churches always say, hey, we were bought at a price uh, in the blood of Jesus Christ when he died on the cross for each and every single one of us, lest we forget, right? All right. Uh, John 8, 14. Again, uh, 
washed in the blood, my friends. Amen. All right, verse 6. That it made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion. Oh, forever and ever. Church, amen and amen. Now, uh, seven, behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him in all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Uh, Daniel 7, 13, there for side scripture. I'll write uh, verse 8. Now, he tells us very clearly here, friends, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Amen. Uh, 9, I, John, also, or who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom of patience or and patience of Jesus Christ was in the isle that is called Patmos. For the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit in the Lord's day and heard, uh, behold me, a great voice as a or as of a trumpet, as we know. Uh, all right. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in the book and send it uh, into the seven churches, which are in Asia unto Ephesus. And unto Smyrna, uh, as we know here, friends, where is it at here? Uh, -up -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I don't know why I, didn't. I missed Smyrna. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, let's see. I did not write that down. No good. Uh, so, yeah, as we see the seven churches here, he says, talks about Smyrna. All uh, right, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, and to Pergamos, unto Thyatira, unto Sardis, unto Philadelphia, and Laodicea. Uh, Revelation 1 8 there. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Exodus 25 37 and Revelation 1 20. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one, and let me get my notes together here, folks, just a minute. Uh, like unto the Son of Man, clawed the garment down to the foot, and girt about with, uh, girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Uh, Ezekiel 126, Revelation 2, 1. So his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters, Ezekiel 1, 7, Revelation 2, 18. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. Isaiah 49.2, Ephesians 6.17. Now, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. All right, let's go on to 18. Uh, I am he that liveth and was dead and behold i am alive forevermore amen and the keys of hell and or have the keys of hell and of death that's psalm 68 20 uh, i believe that's 28 there now write the things which thou hast seen and thy things uh, and the things which are and the things which shall be uh hereafter that's over in revelation 1 12 there now, the mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, the seven golden candlesticks, the seven stars are the angels of the church, or the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. That's going to be over in Zechariah 4, 2, brothers and sisters, on that. All right, let's go on to chapter 2 here. Now, unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write these things, saith he that holdeth 
the seven uh, stars in his right hand who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. That's Revelation one thirteen. there. Now I know thy works and thy labor uh, and thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil and thou hast tried them which they are apostles and are not and hast found them liars. Uh, Psalm 116 there or 1 6 uh sorry about that is chapter 1 verse 6 in the book of psalms of course uh now and has born and has patience and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted now that's a big one for us friends has not fainted right all right, uh, let's go on to verse 4. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left church by first love, he says here. Now remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the, uh, the wor first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and I will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Matthew 21, uh, what have we got? 21, 11 there, right? All right, six. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Uh, Revelation 2, 15 there. He hath an ear, or he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, uh, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. That's Genesis 2, 9 and Revelation 3, 6. Uh, and under the angel of the church of Smyrna, write these things which, or saith, let's see, these things saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works, as we're in chapter 2 here, he says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, uh, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. Let's get to the next page here. All right. Well, what do we got going on here? So, uh, and are not, he says, and or he says, but are uh, the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. And behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall uh, have tribulation ten days. Here's our key word for this verse, friends. He says, uh, where are we at? <laughs> he says here, that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life, friends. He says in Matthew uh, 10, 22 there. Amen. Right? Go back over that again in case the sun got in your eyes there. And you missed the, you missed the scripture there, brothers and sisters. He says uh, that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life. Amen. Right? Come on now. All right. Got to get that coffee flowing. All right. How about verse 11? How about the next verse here? Now, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit uh, saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Now, we we'll talk about the first, second death. Uh, all that stuff, uh, the books, uh, of course, here in Revelation. So let's go on to the next verse here, 12. And the angel of the church of Pergamos write these things, saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is, and thou holdest fast my name. And hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. That's Revelation 2-2 there. 
All right, uh, verse 14 there, right? But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them. What? <laughs> Let's backtrack that. Rewind that, if you will. TiVo it, if you got it, friends. Let's go ahead and take a look at this again. He says, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam. Again, out of the King James here, friends. All right, who taught Balak, who taught Balak, to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. Numbers 24, 14 there. Verse 16, so hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. He says, uh, what do you got? Revelation 2, 6 there. Repent, friends. He says, it tells us, very clearly, repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly. And what else? And will uh, fight against them. That's what he's saying there. He says he will fight against them with a sword of my mouth. Mercy. Now, he that hath an ear church, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Right there. Uh, to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and a stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, uh, saving he that receiveth. Friends, right there. Revelation 2, 7. All right, 18 here. Uh, and to the angel of the church of Thyatira, write these things, saith the Son of God. Uh, who have his eyes like to do a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, and thy charity and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Revelation 2, 2 there. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth, uh, let's see, a hearse here, here, son. <laughs> what? Calleth uh, her servant, right? A prophetess, right? Is that what that is? All right. Uh, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Exodus 14, 14 on that one, friends. Digging deep. All right, 21. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Romans 2, 4. And behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds, friends, right there. Now I will kill our children with death, and of all the chil or all the churches shall know that I am He which searcheth the reins and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Right there, friends, twenty four. But unto you I say, and unto the rest of Thyatira as many as have not this doctrine, uh, and which have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. Acts 15, 20, where are we at here? 28 there. All right, let's go on to 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. Revelation 3, 11. Verse 26. Uh, here it is, friends, watch this. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, uh, to him will I give power over the nations. That's uh, got to be a double one here for you. Matthew 19, 28 and John 6, 29. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, verse 27, as the vessels of a potter, Shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father? Psalm 2, 8, Revelation 12, 5. And I will give him the morning star. That's Second Peter 1, 19 there. 
uh, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Revelation 2, 7. Now, just real quick here, friends. I want to pause for a second. Because the last podcast, I said I was going to try to, to uh, batch a cord, which I did, but then I lost, or somehow the second part of that got deleted out. Uh, so I only got the one update on Melon TV. I, I still got some uh, you know, time on that. But uh, I, I tried to batch record uh, four to, I think it was like four or five hours, and it just it wasn't working out. So that's why the gaps, and that's why I'm doing this one. Uh, kind of, uh, it's offline, it's working. But uh, as, like I, I kind of mentioned again, um, the other, uh, the other laptop, the other uh, channel is actually downloading updates. So, uh, <laughs> I'll get, it'll get back on track here, you know, hopefully soon, uh, sooner than later, uh, that we got the main part of it. But that's anyway, that's what I was kind of, it just kind of, uh, hit me there for a second. That's, uh, was the plan to batch record. And then the one I went in to save it and it didn't save, it got deleted out. So. Uh, that's why I take notes, friends, right? You're at church, take notes. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that because people are like looking at that and I'm getting some emails back. Well, I thought you were going to batch record, Pastor. Well, I tried, but it just didn't work out. So I'm probably going to have to do maybe some audio uh, broadcasts here uh, in, in the near close future, right? Something like that. Anyway, we're going to continue chapter three in the book of Revelation. Bottom of the hour again, about 1.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, brothers and sisters, having church this morning. I hope you got your Bibles with you, your copy. Uh, Ministry Podcast Network, friends, Pastor Rick, of course, uh, your host. Still here. I haven't gone nowhere. I don't think God's got me off the throne yet or got me off the uh, mission yet. Because uh, he's the one that sits on the throne, right? Amen. All right, how about chapter 3 of the book of Revelation, friends? Let's go ahead and read that. Now, uh, and unto the angel of the church of Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works. Thou hast a name that thou uh, livest and art dead. Uh, Ephesians 2, 1. Be watchful. And strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. And remember, therefore, uh, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If there, let's see, if therefore thou shalt not watch. Again, talking about uh, Ezekiel 33, 1 through 33, watchmen on the wall, right? right? We've got to be on our post. All right, he says here, again, watch this in verse 3. I'm going to just read it all over again. Uh, Verse 3 here, Revelation uh, chapter 3. Now remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent, if therefore thou shalt not watch. Uh, He says, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. We gotta be watchful, right? All right, thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, uh, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Now he that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and will not blot out his name. And he says, I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. So as I was saying and mentioning, uh, you know, every time I read Revelation, the book of life and the Lamb's book of life, friends. Check it out. There it is. So he says here in the book of life, uh, but I will confess his name, friends. Watch this. He says, I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Mercy. Come on now, friends. Uh, Exodus 32, 32, and Matthew 10, 32 for that one. we got to get excited about that, friends, right? Come on now. Uh, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. That's Revelation 2, 7 uh, there on that one, friends. Let's go on to verse 7. 
uh, to the angel of the church of Philadelphia, write these things, saith uh, he that is holy, uh, he that is true, and he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. That's right there. All right, uh, let's see, how about verse 8? I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. And behold, let's see, is that where we want? Yeah, verse uh, 9 there. And behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not but do lie. And behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that he hath loved thee. Let's, go, let's see, where is that at? If I can even read that one. Oh boy, Isaiah. I think it's Isaiah 49, 22, friends. Check that out. Write that down in your sticky notes. I appreciate that. Amen. How about verse uh, 10 here this morning? Because thou hast kept thy or kept the word of my patience i believe that's at thy right i sell i see i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall cometh on all let's see where's that next page it's <laughs> it's he says right here uh, it shall come on all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Verse 11, Behold, I come quickly, hold fast, which thou hast that no man uh, take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. And I got to get some notes there. Uh, and the name of the city of my God, which is the New Jerusalem. Right? We know that, right? All right. Which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. That's uh, 1 Kings 7.21 on that. We got 13. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. We got Revelation 2 7 there. A couple of quick adjustments here on the microphone. Once again, let's go back to uh, 14, right? 14. Under the angel of the church of the Laodosians, write these things, saith the Amen. Uh, this faithful and true will, right? Witness, right? Uh, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, and thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. Revelation 3 1. Watch this, friends. Pay attention to this, as we know. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold, nor hot, I will spew thee out of thy mouth. I heard a lot of pastors talk about. I mean, we we you know we that read the Bible, they were seeing it right there. That's got to be, I'd be trembling, shaking in my boots. Right, spew thee out of thy mouth. No, no, <laughs> we we don't want to be spewed out of God's mouth, friends. We we want to, you know, we want to be in. in in the love of God. I don't know how to describe that one. I don't want to. I, do, I wouldn't want to be spewed out of God's mouth, my friends. Come on now. Uh, that's a, I mean, you think about that. If you read that again, friends, uh, verse 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm, or art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, neither one, uh, he says, I will spew thee out of the mouth, friends. Come on now. Now, uh, let's see, 17 here. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, 
and knowest not thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, and thou mayest be clothed or clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. Isaiah 55, 1 there. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, or chasten, right? Uh, be zealous, therefore, and repent. Job 5, 17. Hebrews 12, 5 there. How about verse 20? Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Friends, right here. Watch this. Now, if any man hear my voice and open the door, and I will come into him and will sup with him, and he with me. Song of Solomon. Way over in Song of Solomon there, five, two there. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I, as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. There you go. Uh, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Revelation 2, uh, 2, 1 there. Now, here's your homework, friends. In case you get a little bored. You know, can't get bored, but, uh, well, you can. But, uh, hey, if you get a little bored, have some time on your hands. Read the rest of Revelation, friends. 22 chapters, right? Uh, we got 1 through 22 chapters there. Go ahead and check that out, friends. Amen. That's I tell you my story I uh, a little you know be probably several <laughs> several hundred times here on the broadcast uh, podcast friends I uh, I started out in Revelation very beginning early on I I don't know I heard from the Spirit I'm very clear very sure it was from the Spirit from the Holy Spirit tell me uh, but I started in Revelation went all the way through it I a bunch of times. And then went all the way to the New New Testament. Now, my former pastor, my former church, uh, years ago, I uh, did a whole, like a whole session. I think it was like a year or something, six months to a year or something, just in Revelation. Now, that's deep. That's some deep calls to deep, my friends. That's, you know, uh, and then so they, they took a whole study time just on Revelation. And, you know, and then and so that's where I started from was in the book of Revelation. And then I went to the, you know, the New Testament, basically read all the way through it, and then I went, kind of jumped back to the Old Testament uh, all the way through that. Uh, and, and now pretty much if you listen to the podcast, uh, folks, over the last, what, 10, 15 years here on YouTube and, of course, Twitch TV and Twitter and all that, uh, I'm pretty much basically just basic Bible Based. This is a a, a Bible based podcast. I'm uh, not trying to get too much drifting. Although I do, <laughs> I I listen to the playbacks. I drift a little bit, folks. I gotta admit that. I I tell you, uh, but that's a that's an awesome part about doing the podcast. I uh, I get an opportunity just to to read and and do you know what God has called me to. So I, uh, <laughs> as my friend was saying. Man, you got your own zip code. You're way out in left field with your own zip code, way out there in the middle of nowhere. I said, yeah, but I, I reel it back in. I turn, you know, I go back and I listen to what I, you know, kind of reel it back in and uh, get back on track. You know, basically, like I said, I, it just gives me an opportunity to just do what God has called me. You know, read the Bible, drift a little, <laughs> little bit on the you know, on the seas there and reel it back in with some coffee and kind of bring it back home a little bit here, uh, which is awesome. So it gives me the opportunity to do that, uh, you know, as I'm preaching to the kingdom. You know, this is what my mission is for the kingdom of God. And I, I, I wanna, my friend just tweeted, what are you talking about? You're rambling again. I said, yeah, I know. But <laughs> I was, I was saying I know I ramble. I know I get sidetracked, um, and that's just the, the where things are at on the podcast. So uh, basically, I want to bring it all home. 
I want to tell you guys thank you for getting through this with me uh, as I, you know, I just share the Bible. I just do my mission. I just do the calling that uh, God has called me to. So I appreciate each and every one of you out there watching, listening to the podcast on all the channels. Not just a fancy catchphrase, my friends, preaching the good news gospel. Amen. Anyhow, welcome. <laughs> How you doing? What's going on? Hey, it's, what is it? Uh, yeah, we're, we're here. Memorial, Memorial Day, right? Uh, this morning here. We want to, we want to just pray, uh, friends, pray for everybody out there. Pray for, you know, this, this world that we're in and uh, the time we're in and, uh, you know, pray for family, friends, uh, past uh, that we've lost. And uh, uh, yeah, that's heavy. I, as I just got another message coming through the, the lines there. Uh, it reminded me of that. So anyway, I just wanted to pray for each and everyone out there listening, hearing, watching the podcast. Thank you guys for being so patient here, uh, understanding your prayers are awesome. I appreciate that very much. Um, and uh, I'm grateful for each and every one of you out there that have been supporting the channel and subscribing and uh, listening and kind of wondering when, you know, when I'm going to get back on track. But, hey, I appreciate you guys. So anyway... Um, yeah, heavy, heavy things going on right now, uh, friends. So we're praying for everybody out there, praying for you guys. Uh, and again, I do appreciate your prayers, uh, for the ministry here. Thank you for that. Well, let's get back to, uh, some uh, scriptures, brothers and sisters, my friends here at the church. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you dropping by. <sighs> Gotta get that copy. All right, what do we got on the menu, my friends? Wow, amen. All right, Zephaniah. Uh, it looks like Zephaniah here, so we're going to do that. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, beauty thing about uh, doing the podcast. I get to rabble and scrabble myself. <laughs> Just drifting right along, right along the oceans there, friends. Uh, you know, happens, but uh, hey. We're going we're gonna to keep going. We're going to keep moving. Uh, amen. Right? Amen. All right. I'm trying to find Zephaniah. Uh, amen. When you get there, holler, my friends. Amen. All right. Zephaniah. And we're going to go through one through three. Uh, amen. So let's do that. Uh, 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 uh. I write the wrong. Nope. Come on. I do that sometimes. I write the wrong page down. So. I know Zephaniah comes right after Habakkuk, friends. It's right between or uh, kind of in between the Habakkuk. And Haggai, friends, which is, of course, the 10th uh, book of the Minor Prophets. So we're looking at the ninth book of the Minor Prophets here in the book of Zephaniah. So, uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Let's uh, read some uh, more out of the Bible here, friends. Again, I do appreciate each and every one of you, Pastor at Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, Monday. Right? Monday the 27th. Wow. All right. Let's uh, keep going here, friends. Now, uh, as we know and we see here, the word of the Lord, which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushai, the son of Gedaliah, right? Of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, uh, the son of Hezekiah, in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, friends. All right. Let's go on to two. Now, I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea, right? And the stumbling blocks with the wicked. And I will cut off man from off the land, saith the Lord, or idols. All right, if, if you're taking notes here, idols. Now, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will cut off 
uh, the remnant of, uh, let's see, where is that at here, of Baal, from this place and the name of the Chimerans uh, with the priests. 2 Kings 23, 4. And them that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops, and them that worship and uh, that swear by the Lord, uh, swear by Malcolm, uh, Joshua 23, 7, or Malcam, uh, and then, or them that are turned back from the Lord, and those that have not sought the Lord, nor inquired for him. Uh, Isaiah 1, 4, hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice. He hath hid or uh, hid his guests, right? Or bid his guests? There it is. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the Lord's children and, uh, and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. All right, uh, Jeremiah 39, 6 there. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold, which fill their master's house with violence and deceit. And it shall come to pass in that day, see it the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gates and the howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. How ye inhabitants of Mactash, for all the merchant people are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles, and punish the men that are settled on their leaf that uh, say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore their goods shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. Deuteronomy 28.30 there. Now the great day of the Lord is near. It is near, and haste or hast, hasteth greatly, there it is, uh, even the voice of the day of the Lord. As we look at a judgment of nations, again in Zephaniah, friends, here this morning. Now, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly, Joel 2.1. The day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. I will bring distress upon men, and they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord. And their blood shall be poured out as dust. Their flesh is as the dung, or as the dung, right? Uh, Deuteronomy 28, 29 there. In 18, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. For the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. He is a jealous God, friends, as we know, right? He's, uh, as he says, be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. That's Proverbs 11, verse 4. Now let's go on to uh, chapter 2 here. Friends, uh, as again, do a quick uh, adjustment on my, my microphone here for a quick second here. All right, let's move on to chapter 2, Zephaniah. So he says, as we continue this, uh, Gather yourselves together, gather together, O nation, not desired. Uh, or desirous, he says here in the notes, uh, Joel 2.16 there, before the decree, bring forth, as we are in verse 2, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord, uh, his anger come upon you. Friends. Now seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, 
which have wrought as judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness, the fruits of the Spirit, friends, he says here. Uh, seek meekness, it may be ye shall be hid. Let's go back over this again. All right. Uh, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. For Gaza shall be forsaken and Ashkelon a desolation. They shall drive out Ashdod at the noonday and Ekron shall be rooted up. Woe unto the inhabitants of the sea coast, the nation of the Cherethites. The word of the Lord is against you, O Canaan, the land of the Philistines. I will even destroy thee and there shall be no inhabitants. Verse 6. And the sea coast uh, shall be dwellings and cottages for shepherds and folds for flocks. And the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah. And they shall feed thereupon. And the houses of Ashkelon shall they lie down in the evening, for the Lord their God shall visit them and turn away their captivity. Exodus 4.31, Isaiah 11.11. 11. I have heard the reproach of Moab and the revilings of the children of Ammon, whereby they have reproached my people and magnified themselves against their border. And therefore, as I live, saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely... Mohab shall be as Sodom, and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah. Uh, even the breeding of nettles and salt pits and perpetual desolation, the residue of my people shall spoil them, and the remnant of my people shall possess them. Let's go on to verse 10 here. Now this shall they have for their pride. Because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of the Lord of hosts. The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, every one from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. Ah, uh, ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. And he will stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Assyria. I will make Nineveh a desolation and dry like wilderness. And flocks shall lie down in the midst of her. All the beasts of the nations, both the cormorant and the bittern, shall lodge in the upper lintels of it. And their voice shall sing in the windows. Desolation shall be in their thresholds, for he shall uncover the cedar work. Uh, let's see, Isaiah thirteen twenty one. Now this is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly. That said in her heart, I am, and there is none beside me. How has she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down in? Every one that passeth by her shall hiss and wag his hand. Job 27.23, Lamentations 2.15 there, friends. All right. Uh, about 2 o'clock in the a.m., friends, top of the hour. Good morning to you, my friends, on this uh, early Monday morning here, friends. Appreciate your time and hanging out with me here for a while. All right, let's continue. We're in Zephaniah, friends. Chapter 3 on this one. Now, woe to her that is filthy and polluted, to the oppression city, or oppressing city. She obeyed not the voice, who received not correction. She trusted not in the Lord. She uh, drew not near to her God. Jeremiah 5, 3 there. As we look at a judgment on Ethiopia, her princes within her are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw, not at the bones till the morrow, Ezekiel 22, 27. Uh, as we look at 4, right, verse 4. 
her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. Jeremiah 23, 11, verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof, and he will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Deuteronomy 32, verse 4 there. Right. Uh, I have cut off. The nations, their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste, that none passeth by. Their cities are destroyed, so that there is no man, that there is none uh, inhabitants. I said, surely, that will fear me, that will receive instruction uh, so their dwelling should not be cut off, howsoever I punish them. But they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Now, therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to pray. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble, uh, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Right? As he tells us, friends, he clearly tells us. All right, about to sneeze there. Mercy. So, as he lays it out for us, friends, uh, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. For then will I turn to the people of pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. Isaiah 19.18 there. As we look at uh, God in the midst. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliance, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring mine offering. Psalm 68, 31 there. In that day shall thou not be ashamed for all thy doings, wherein thou hast transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride. And thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor uh, people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. Amen. Right? Isaiah 14, 32. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make uh, them uh, afraid. Uh, we got a couple of them here. Uh, Isaiah 60, verse 20, and Micah 4, 4, friends. All right, let's go on to 14 here. Amen. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the hearts, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments. He hath cast out thine enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion let them uh, let not thine hands be slack. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Uh, Deuteronomy 30, verse 9 in Jeru <laughs> Jerusalem. Jeremiah, <laughs> there it is, 32, 41. Uh, 18, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly 
who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. And behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Uh, Ezekiel thirty four sixteen. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before the uh, before yourselves, saith the Lord. And that, my friends, was Zephaniah. Amen. Hang on again. I gotta get one of the other laptop or the other uh, monitors up here. All right. How you doing? I. Uh, it's good to see you. Good. To, well, I can't see you, but it's good to be here with you. Amen. All right. So I'm just kind of uh, resetting. I should have done that before, but I didn't get a chance. So I'm gonna do that while I can. Amen. All right, Zephaniah, what a good book, friends. We're going to read that, uh, you know. All right. Um, now, I hope all my cords and channels are all plugged in here. All right, bear with me, guys. Da -da 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 I'm just rolling on through. Gotta roll on through, my friends. All right, well, we got Zephaniah uh, still in the bottom, top of the hour, right, uh, friends? I think we're going to go to Ezekiel. Amen. All right. Um, let's do that. I know this is going to be a little bit of a long uh, set of verses, but uh, important verses, right? Bear with me, guys. We're going to get to the next verse. Ezekiel 33, 1 through 33, friends. We're going to go ahead and read that, too. Uh, as we uh, are called in uh, our shepherds, right? Or our, uh, our positions, our posts, right? Ezekiel 33, 1 through 33, friends, on this hour. So bear with me again. i got to put in a code real quick. Uh, ow, on the... Sorry, I I hit my knee. I'm maneuvering my chair, and I just uh, kind of slammed my knee against the desk there. So bear with me, guys. All right. Um, Got to put in a code here. And I got to get more parts for my desk here. <laughs> it's it's uh, or maneuver something here because uh, you guys see on the broadcast, on the video part of the podcast there, I uh, I I got a small studio, but hey, it works. I'm I'm happy with it. It's efficient, you know. It, it works for what I need. Um, but it's uh, a little cramped at times, and um, yeah, no, we just work around it, right? We just do what we got to do and work around it. It's it's functional. Basically, it's small, but it's and compact, but it's functional. It, it supplies. Got to supply my needs, <laughs> you know. Uh, and I'm grateful for that. I, I'm grateful I get the opportunity to have this and the, the setup that I do. And and you guys look at the video part of the podcast. You see what I'm I'm working in, where my studio is at, and how it's kind of set up and everything. So it works. I'm I'm grateful. I'm not, you know, I, my complaints are are little. They're very minor <laughs> compared. Uh, and you guys know the history, you know, where, where he was at before and all that stuff and, uh, how things changed over the studio time and, uh, all that stuff. So it's, it works. What I got now and where I'm working out of, uh, is pretty sufficient. Actually, I'm, you know, I'm, oh, I'm not, I'm content. I can always do more. And I know God's given me in, you know, in time, he's given me that increase. So. Amen, right? All right. Uh, <laughs> well, it is a talk show, right? Talk show podcast? Well, let's look at it, my friends. Let's go ahead, check out uh, Ezekiel 33, 1 through 33. And, and let's hear what uh, what Spirit uh, is telling us on this, uh, this scripture and verse here. 
uh, front. Let's go ahead and check it out, uh, if you will, here. Give me a second. I'm just pulling up some monitors there. Amen, amen, amen. Got to get excited about this word, my friend. That's right. Well, let's read it. Uh, again, top of the hour. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you all dropping by the studio uh, today, Monday, uh, Monday morning. This is the originally the date was supposed to be on the 12th of the month. I know I got really behind. That's a, about the the time setup that uh, uh, the Internet went out uh, kind of right before all that. And it just happened. And, and so we are just out. Uh, and, and so I'm kind of piggybacking off my cell phone uh, to, <laughs> to make everything work. And again, uh, for this whole week, I've had another, uh, the other channel, uh, the other monitor, well, the other laptop, uh, 1B, actually, which was laptop 5 or channel 5, uh, actually uh, is downloading updates. And so it's taken forever on the slow end of it. But uh it's workable. We're getting there, right? So let's move on. Ezekiel 33, 1 through 33, my friends. Can we read some Bible today, my friends? Amen on a Monday, right? All right. Well, he says here, my brother and my sister in the church. He says, again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coats, coats, right? Not coats, but coats, uh, and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, bear with me again, had a wanted to go out all right uh, got that uh so again in verse three here in ezekiel 33 1 through 33 if when he see if the sword come upon the land he blow the trumpet and warn the people that's uh really important right there friends then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning if the sword come and take him away his blood shall be upon his own head. Friends, watch this. Now he heard uh, he heard the sound of the trumpet. He took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, again, uh, key here, uh, and the people be not warned, sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. And he says, but his blood. Now, he's not just asking for it, church. He's saying, his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Friends. There it is. Now, he's not stuttering. He's not, uh, it's, it's very clear. A very clear, stern warning there. The blood or his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Right, let's go on to seven. So thou, o son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Hasrael, and therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood again, not, not staggering here, but I will require at thine hand. Friends, he, he reiterates it twice there. Well, a few times, right? All right, let's go on to nine. Uh, Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Now, therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus she speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how should we then live? 
As I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. Ah, but that wicked turn from his way and live. Friends, he's clearly, again, he tells us right there. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Uh, 2 Samuel 14, 14, 2 Peter 3, 9. And therefore thou, son of man, say unto the children of thy people, uh, the righteous of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in that day. Uh, that he turneth from his wickedness, neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. All right, uh, we got verse 13. When I shall say to the righteous that he shall truly or surely live, if he trust to his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteousness shall not be remembered, but for his iniquity that he hath committed, he shall die for it. Uh, Ezekiel 3.20 there. Again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, return from his sin, and do that which is lawful and right. If the wicked restore the pledge, give again that he had robbed, walk in his statutes of the life without committing iniquity, he shall surely live. He shall not die. Exodus 22.1, Leviticus 6.2. None of his sins that he hath committed shall be mentioned unto him. He hath done that which is lawful and right, be or he shall surely live. Yet the children of thy people say, The way of the Lord is not equal. Uh, as we look at the notes here, destruction is still to come. So let's keep reading here. Uh, it's not equal. But as for them, neither or their way is not equal. Ezekiel 18.25 there. Let's go on to 18 here. Uh, when the righteous turneth from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, he shall even die thereby. Ezekiel uh, 18.26 for that side scripture. Let's go on to 19. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby, friends. Yet ye say, the way of the Lord is not equal. O ye house of Israel, I will judge you every one after his ways. Uh, Ezekiel 18.25 on that. Let's go on to 21. And it came to pass in the twelfth year of our captivity, the tenth month and the fifth day of the month, that one that had escaped out of Jerusalem came unto me, saying, The city is smitten. Second Kings 25, 4. Now the hand of the Lord was upon me in the evening, afore he that escaped came. And it opened my mouth, and it only came to me in the morning, and my mouth was opened. And I was no longer, or, or no more dumb, Ezekiel 1, 3. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, they that inhabit these are those wastes of the land of Israel speak, saying, Abraham was one, and he inherited the land. But we are many, and the land is given us for inheritance. Uh, wherefore say uh, let's see, unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, ye eat with the blood, and lift up your eyes toward your idols, and shed blood, and shall ye possess the land? Genesis 9, 4 there. May ye stand upon your sword, ye work abomination, and ye defile every one his neighbor's wife, and shall ye possess the land? We got Ezekiel 18.6, folks, on that one. How about 27? Say thou thus unto them. Thus saith the Lord God, as I live, surely 
they that are in the waste shall fall by the sword, and him that is in the open field will I give to the beast to be devoured. And they that be in the forts, I almost said foots, but that's not the word, it's forts, uh, and in the caves shall die of the pestilence. Uh, Judges 6-2 on that one, friends. For I will lay the land most desolate, and the pomp of her strength shall cease, and the mountains of Israel shall be desolate, that none shall pass through. Jeremiah 44, 2, Ezekiel 6, 2 there. Then shall they know that I am the Lord. And when I have laid the land most desolate because of all their abominations which they have committed, also thou son of man. I believe that's what that is. My notes got scrambled here. All right. Uh, the children of the people still are talking against thee by the walls and the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. Uh, Isaiah 29, verse 13, friends, on that one. Let's go on to 31. And they came unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they shew much love, but their heart goeth after their covetous. Ah, there we go. We see that all the time, right? All right, let's move on to the next part here. Those that served themselves of them, in 28, uh, and they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beasts of the land devour them. They shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. And we got verse 29 there. And I will raise up uh, for them a plant of renown, and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land, and neither bear the shame of the heathen any more. And verse 30, Thus shall they know that I, the Lord, their God, am with them, and that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith the Lord God. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your God, saith the Lord God. There we go. Wow. Powerful scriptures, my brothers and sisters. That's right. Ezekiel 33, 1 through 33. Ezekiel, uh, like I said, uh, Watchman on the Wall, friends. All right, got a few more. May run over a couple hours here, but hey, you know, long-form video or podcast uh, on God's Radio. Again, that's what I was saying earlier. <laughs> My friend was like, God's Radio? I'm like, yeah, it's God's Radio, and I'm just a voice crying out in the wilderness, uh, as we always see in John there, you know, John the Baptist. Uh, just a voice in the wilderness crying out, make straight the paths for our Lord, my friends. That's right. So, there you go. <laughs> I know. All right, well, let's get to the next scripture here. Uh, All right, what do we got? Lots of scriptures for you. That's why I have a double cup of coffee, because it's a long night, and I don't mind. Um... All right, let's go to the next. Let's go to the next scripture, if we can, my friends. Um, make sure all my equipment's running and working here. What uh, what I got running and working, <laughs> right? All right. And yeah, I'm still doing the radio uh, challenge. There, not the challenge, but I'm still doing the radio deal here i'm um, doing that pretty soon again but uh yeah i was talking about that in a, a while back actually uh but yeah i'm still doing the radio training the uh program director said i had a good radio voice i it's just a voice i was born with and that's what i use <laughs> right i don't know uh, it's just what i do 
France. That makes sense now. It didn't make sense back then, but it makes sense now. We get them light bulb moments in life and go, oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, all right. Uh, I think first Peter. I don't know why I was thinking second Peter. That is not first Peter. Or, yeah, so first Peter. All right, first Peter, friends, one and two. We're going to go to chapters one and two in first Peter, not second Peter. I don't know why I did that, but uh, mercy. All right. So anyway, yeah, the uh, radio programs or programmer uh, that I'm, I'm uh, in communication with uh, for some jobs, a basic radio job, uh, said I had the a good radio voice. I said that's what God gave me to operate in. <laughs> Amen. Well, let's uh, let's operate down in the scripture here, my friends. How about uh, First Epistle of uh, Peter, right? Uh, chapters one. And two, let's uh, let's dig into the mighty word of God this morning, my friends. Amen. Uh, chapter one. Now, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, uh, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit. And to obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace unto you, uh, and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to the are his abundant mercy have begotten us again into a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead again uh, over in John 3 3 1 Corinthians 15 20 and Ephesians 1 3 friends amen bought at a price that's right lest we forget hopefully we don't forget uh friends and uh you know keep our Lord and Savior in mind all the time right all right let's roll on for to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Now, in 6, wherein ye greatly rejoice, uh, though now for a season, if need be, uh, ye are in heaviness, the manifold temptations, uh, Matthew 5, verse 12 there, that the uh, trial, there it is, the trial of your faith bring much more precious, being much more precious than of gold that persists, what? Perisheth it. I almost said persisted, but it's perisheth it. Ah, uh, though it be tried with fire, might be found into praise and honor and glory to the appearing of Jesus Christ. Friends, that's uh, going to be over in Job 23.10. If you're taking notes, and I hope you are. Proverbs 17, verse 3. Zechariah 13, verse 9. Let me go back over that again, friends, if you're taking notes here. Uh, Job 23.10. Proverbs 17.3. In Zechariah 13.9. That is in verse 7 in the uh, book of 1 Peter here. All right, uh, let's roll on. How about 8? Uh, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Of which salvation to prophets, uh, let's see, there it is, uh, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Let's move on to 10. Of which salvation to prophets have inquired and searched diligently, uh, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Genesis 49 10. Searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ. Uh, let's see here. Uh, and the glory that should follow. 
Now, 12, unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached in gospel, uh, the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Exodus 25, 20. Now, in 13, friends, as we continue here, uh, wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance. Lays it out for us, friends. All right, let's go on to uh, 15 here. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Uh, Leviticus 11.44 If ye call on the Father who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work past the time of your sojourning here in fear. Romans 2.11 For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver, and gold from your vain conversations, or conversation, it's singular, not plural there, uh, corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, Ezekiel 20, verse 18. But, again, church, come on now, bought at a price, bought with the blood, as we see in 19, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, Romans 3.25, who by him, uh, him do believe in God, that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, and that your faith and hope might be in God. That's Matthew 28.18. And seeing ye have uh, purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Amen. Right? How about uh, 23? And being born again, not a corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. For the word of God, which liveth, uh, and abideth forever. John 1, 13, James 1, 18 there. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, or withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. For the word of the Lord uh, endureth forever. And this is the word which, by the gospel, is preached unto you. That's Psalm 102.12. Now, if you get a... Oh, yeah, we are going to go into two. I almost lost my place there again. Let's go on to chapter two in the book of First Peter here. As we lay aside all evil... <coughs> Sorry about that. Hang on here. Um, hey, man, got to get me more coffee. Uh, as we continue here, as he says, I'm just kind of reading some side notes and a uh, little uh, kind of extra side notes there, I guess. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's re <laughs> let's go into it. Let's keep going. Chapter two in uh, First Peter, friends. Give me a second. Just making some adjustments here on the headphones. It's a really good. Uh, it's a really good investment here. All right. Let's keep rolling. Chapter two in First Peter. So, wherefore, laying aside all malice, and all guile, and hypocrisies, and envies, and all evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk, right, uh, that ye may grow thereby, of the word, right, the sincere milk of the word, friends, that ye may grow thereby, Matthew 18, 3. So, if so, be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. That's Psalm uh, 34, 8 there. 
to whom coming as into a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious friends. There it is. So, as we look at verse 5, he also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood uh, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ, friends. All right, Isaiah 61 6. Now, wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Sion, right? Uh, a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded unto you there for which believe he is precious. But unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. Uh, Psalm 118.22 A stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even in them which stumble at the word. As we uh, look at this. Uh, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Uh, Exodus 9.16 but ye are a chosen, friends, watch this, your chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people. Uh, they should shew forth uh, the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness, friends, watch this, and in to his marvelous light. Yes, friends, you see that? You see what he's, uh, what they put in there? Uh, he says that ye should shew forth the praises of him that hath called you out of the darkness and in to his marvelous light. Friends. Purchase people, right? Uh, by, by the blood. So, uh, let's keep going. And top of the hour, about two hours on this one. It's like I said, a little over two hours. Let's keep reading the precious word of the Lord, brothers and sisters. All right, uh, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, and non-Jews, of course, uh, as evildoers, they may be your good or by your good works, which they shall behold. Glorify God in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme. Uh, 14. Or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. Ah, uh, He says, For so is the will of God. Uh, with a well-doing, ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God, honor, uh, let me get some notes together here, honor all men, uh, love the, the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king, Proverbs 24, 21, Romans 12, 10, right, let's go on to 18. Now, servants, be subject to your masters, right? With all fear, not only to the good and the gentle, but also to the froward. Ephesians 6, 5 there. For this is thankworthy, if a man for conscience toward God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it, if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But... If, when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. Let's go on to 21. For even here in 2, for ye were called because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Uh, Matthew 16, 24 there. Who did no sin, neither uh, was guile found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. 
When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, who his own self bare our sins in his own body on the tree, that uh, we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, and by whose stripes, church, we are healed, or ye are healed. For you were sheep going astray, or as sheep going astray, but are now returned to the shepherd and the bishop of your souls. Isaiah 53, 6, John 10, 11. There. Now they got instructions for, uh, for the wives and the husbands there in the next verse, so you guys can check that out. Amen. All right, good verse, good uh, scripture there on this one. And we've got a few more for you here. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Locate the next scripture. And Philippians, friends. Let's go to Philippians chapter 4. Amen. All right. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Got a few more for you. Amen. Uh, stretch it out, my brothers and sisters. Just stretch out. Relax. Take a deep breath. You're in church. Relax. Let's have some Bible study here. Well, let's continue our Bible study because we're already here. <laughs> Amen. All right, my friends, uh, again, Spreaker, uh, live on Spreaker, do, doing the uh, rebroadcast from Sunday, May 12th. Tried to get that out so many times, and I don't know what it was, or just our internet and Wi-Fi connection was just sluggish and just slow, and I couldn't get anything going, and so I kind of just kept it and kept the information as I always do. I always take notes and scriptures, and so this is just the audio uh, version of that, which I also do uh, a live video broadcast and live on the air on the audio part. So we've got Anchor, we've got Blog Talk Radio, Tin Can, uh, Spotify, Spreaker, uh, as I mentioned here, uh, Radio.co UK, uh, any audio. Basically, they're all connected together. I've been doing that since the beginning. I started that. I told you, I told the story. Uh, mentioned that a few times. I was in Hollywood in the uh, L.A. Uh, area. I walked by one of the local uh, radio stations, and they were doing a video as they were actually on the air live. And I said, well, that's a, that's a cool thing to do. That's, that's a neat thing. So I just always kept that in mind. And, uh, I mean, everybody, I think everybody's doing that. But I'm, well, not everybody, but there are a lot of channels out there. And I've been doing that since the beginning of the inception of this uh, my podcast. Um, I do a live audio feed, video feed, audio feed uh, on the audio channels, and then I've got uh, Restream TV, uh, Melon TV, StreamYard TV, uh, and a, a couple more. I can't remember offhand, but those are the main ones, and they're linked live video. All the channels linked in uh, Twitch TV, Twitter, uh, X, uh, and more. So, uh, I, I thought that was just a really uh, neat uh, concept. I mean, you're, you're on the air radio doing audio and at the same time you're doing a video. Now, all the channel, all the major BBC, uh, I am, by the way, on BBC Two, uh, podcast channel over in England, tied in. That's actually connected with the Radio.co channel. Uh, so that is, I'm doing audio and the video part of it. So. Anyway, just a little bit of a background on all that stuff. Y'all know, uh, as you guys have all come to know and love, you get the audio portion of the podcast as well as a live video feed. I Again, I'm going to be back up on uh, Restream. I'm going to try later tonight. I do have another broadcast uh, set up and scheduled for tonight. I will be doing another update over on Twitch TV. Uh, and I've seen a lot of my friends... Uh, broadcast from Twitch TV, that is their main base, and then they, they broadcast over to YouTube and all the other channels. What I'm doing opposite, where I'm based on Restream, StreamYard, Melon TV, video part of it, uh, and that's broadcast out to the other channels, which is a great, just a great, <laughs> I highly recommend it, my friends. I would, I, if you guys are going to do this, I, I would jump on one of those channels because they are, Fantastic. Uh, again, not sponsored by anybody. I'm still looking for finances, uh, financial uh, assistance there, and 
uh, you know, all that uh, for the channels, upgrade, upkeep uh, on the channels, on the uh, equipment. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just uh, <laughs> just great. I mean, um, you know, as I get the channels and get all that stuff uh, set up, audio, video part of it. So, uh, anyway, yeah, going back to the sponsors, uh, I got all that set up, too. So, if you guys are out there hear this and you want to jump on the channel paypal and cash app it's available but anyway thank you guys for all that uh <laughs> i know i started drifting off into the left lane there and i had to reel it back in uh get my copy here and uh let's get to the next uh next chapter next uh scripture we're going to look at philippians chapter four uh my friends got a few more for you I want to kind of get into this a uh, few more scriptures for you here. Uh, but yeah, I do. I, I have another broadcast uh, set up for Monday late night. Probably, I think it's on StreamYard TV. I'll have to look at the schedule. I might change that out because I really want to get. Uh, I really want to get to the rest of Job thirty-eight uh, and let's see, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, and forty. Uh, and, uh, so we'll figure that out. Uh, again, I have a rebroadcast over a melon TV broadcast. I just posted up on YouTube. I uh, will be a repeat on Twitch TV. So if you guys are over on the Twitch TV channel, sign up, uh, set it up and, uh, get in here, friends. Uh, that's your podcast nine or live or something like that. Uh, amen. All right. Uh, let's continue again. Philippians chapter four. Uh, let's keep going, friends. Chapter four, got a few more for you, and then we'll close out on the broadcast here. So, all right, therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and long for my joy and crown. So, stand fast in the Lord, church. Ah, uh, he says, right, my, yeah, my dearly beloved. <laughs> Amen. I beseech Yodius, I beseech Sidisha. That they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help these women, or those women, who labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. That's uh, Exodus 32, 32, Daniel 12, 1 there. Uh, he says, Rejoice in the Lord, friends, always. And again, I say, Rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand, and be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Psalm 55, 22. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus, friends. Finally, brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, and whatsoever things are pure, or whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Now those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do and the God of peace shall be with you. Get a get a big amen on that one. Romans fifteen thirty three on the extra side scripture, friends. There now in ten, but I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Second Corinthians eleven nine. Not that I speak in respect of want. For I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. First Timothy 6.6 6, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. Both to abound and to suffer need. Uh, 13. Friends, church, brother and sister. Come on now, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. 
Write that down on your sticky notes, my friends. Put that everywhere. Amen. Put it on your bumper sticker or your car, right? <coughs> All right. So let's keep going. 14. Notwithstanding, ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. That's Philippians 1 7 there. Now, ye Philippians, know also that in the beginning of the gospel, which I have departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. Uh, tithing, right? We're talking about tithing there. Second Corinthians 11 18, or 11 8 there. Uh, for even in Thessalonica, ye uh, sent once and again unto my necessity. Not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your accounts. Oh, he says here, uh, Romans fifteen twenty eight. But I have all and abound, I am full. Having received of Ephroditus of the things which are sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. All right. Uh, let's see Corinthians uh, 9, 12 there on that one. But my God shall supply all your, or all your need, friends. As we say that again, put that on your sticky notes. According to his riches uh, in Glory by Christ Jesus. Now, unto God and our uh, Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren which are with me greet you. Galatians uh, 1 2. All the saints salute you chiefly. Uh, they that are, are of, Caesar, of Caesar's household, right? Caesar or Caesar. Uh, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And there you go, friends. Ah, oh, what a good Bible study. What a good church service that is. Well, we got, um, let's see, we do have about four. Uh, well, it's already over two hours. Mercy, my friends, what shall we do? <laughs> I want to keep going, but, you know, uh, <laughs> we always got the next podcast. Like I said, we've got another one scheduled for tonight on StreamYard TV, and I will be doing an update over on Melon TV on Twitch TV. Uh, friends, uh, I don't want to keep you guys too long here. Oh, what shall I do? Well, how about we go to Jude? Well, do we want to do that? That's the question. Because um, I can close out. Um, let's see. Let me do this. We'll close out. We'll do one more. I'll throw one more in there uh, if we can here. Let me uh, change this out. And uh, let me do this here. I'll fix this. Let's see. Er, da, 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 ba, da, ba. I know by the time I get done with this, it'll be all over, all over two and a half hours here, but um, let's see. All right, so let me do that. So we're going to do one more. We'll go to Jude. Uh, it's going to be Jude chapter 125. So let's do that. Let's switch out if I can. All right, amen. Yeah, let's do one more. Let's close out with the book of Jude here, friends. Uh, 1 through 25. That's pretty uh, quick uh, scripture there. And uh, we'll roll with that one. All right. Like I said, I always I always pack a lot of scriptures in because I just never know what, how long it's going to take me to get back on the air again with everything I got going on and rolling through here. Uh, folks, it's, uh, it's, it's difficult. Um, very, uh, you know, kind of hit and miss here. Uh, I just never know when I'm going to be able to get back on. I'd like to schedule out, but with all the interference and problems I've been having, um, I just never know uh, how long or when I'm going to get a chance to get back on the air again. So that's why I always give you over, uh, you know, over an hour and a half or two hours, two and a half hours of uh, Bible uh, scriptures. So um, that's that's why. 
Uh, amen. All right. Let me see. Let's see here. Make sure we're writing some notes there. And so yeah, we'll go. We'll go one more, and that's it. Bear with me here. Let's see what we have. Change of notes. Always like Jude too. It's a real quick read and a uh, good book, good information uh, there. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Take that out too. Amen. A little bit of writing. Uh, not bad. Uh, we'll get to the scripture here in just a minute. So bear with me, guys. Got a change out here in the scripture on the schedule, and that's it. I think we're good. I'll rewrite that and redo that after the broadcast here. All right, let's go to it. I uh, want to say John, Job, Jude. <laughs> All right, let's go to Jude, um, and again, chapter one in the book of Jude. Let's close out with that one, brothers and sisters. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, there it is. All right, let's close out, friends. Let's uh, conclude the podcast this morning. Almost 3 a.m., but let's uh, let's close out with Jude, friends. Let's go to that uh, Jude chapter 1. Now, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and the brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ, and called. Ah, mercy unto you, and peace and love be multiplied. That's First Peter 1, 2 there. Um, all right, 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. That's uh, Philippians 1.27, 2 Timothy 1.13. Now, four, uh, for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning uh, the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, Romans 9.21, Titus 1.16 there. Now, I will therefore uh, put you in remembrance. And though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, uh, he hath reserved in uh, everlasting chains under darkness under the judgment of the great day. Now, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication uh, and going after strange flesh and set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Genesis nineteen twenty four, Second Peter 2, 6. Now, likewise, all so these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael, the archangel, when con uh, contending with the devil, uh, disputed about the body of Moses, uh, let's see, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee that's going to be over i believe and boy, i can barely read that um, philemon i believe that's philemon 10 13 there all right let's go on to the next verse 10 but these speak evil of those things which they know not but that they know uh, let's see naturally as brute beasts, in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. 
Now these are spots in your feast of charity. When they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds. Trees whose fruits or fruit withereth without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. Proverbs 25, 14, raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Uh, we got Isaiah 57, verse 20 on that extra one there, friends. That's going to 14. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesies these saying. He says here, keep yourselves in God's love, friends. That agape love, church. Amen. Now these things, uh, let's see, these saying, behold, the Lord cometh with 10,000 of his saints to execute judgment upon all. And convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches, uh, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. First Samuel two three, Malachi three thirteen. There, as we go on to sixteen. Now, again, end times, friends. We clearly see end times prophecy. Uh, coming true every single day. Uh, he says, let's see. Now, these are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouths speak great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration uh, because of advantage. Proverbs twenty-eight twenty-one. But, beloved, remember ye the words which were, and again, taking some extra notes here, friends, if you will. I, but beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how they, or how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. First Timothy 4, 1 there. 19. Now, these be they who separate themselves sensual, having not the Spirit. Proverbs 18, 1, Jose, uh, Hosea uh, 4, 14 there. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in all, or in the Holy Ghost there, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ and do eternal life. Ah, uh, he says, and of some having compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear. All uh, right, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Church, amen. Romans 16, 27 on that one. And amen, my friends. Well, there you go. All right, so I'm going to make a quick note here. And I, I'll reset all this, as I always like to do here. Don't mind it at all. All right, lots of writing, you guys that know me. Hey, you know I like to write, my friends. That's right. Let's see. So uh, we're going to close this out. That's it for this broadcast episode, my friends. I appreciate you dropping by, hanging out. Uh, amen. And let's see. We're going to go just a couple more quick notes here uh, for the next episode here. Uh, and again, sometime this afternoon, uh, I will be over on Twitch TV with Melon TV, actually. Uh, I think I'm going to jump on that one. And uh, yeah, I'll be over on that one. So uh, I'm not sure. Like I said, I have to kind of play it right now. I have to kind of play it by ear. I just never know. And I don't know uh, from day to day where I'm at and what I'm going to do. But uh Basically, I'm just repeating uh, the same uh, the same scriptures, some of the same scriptures and same uh, kind of message that I did on the last episode that was on YouTube. Uh, Melon 
TV gives me some some you know uh, broadcasting time, but I can only basically do about a channel at a time, or unless I record one and then upload it to the other channels, and that was the plan. But I said, well, why don't we just save that? I'll throw that out there uh, for our Twitch uh, TV uh, subscribers and followers there. Um, and then uh, set that up. So that's what uh, I'm going to do sometime this afternoon. Uh, amen. And uh, got a little bit of yard work, not much. I did a lot of it over the weekend. Uh, now it's just kind of a rest and relaxation uh, time here. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. So anyway, uh, we'll see how things go. But uh, I should be back up uh, for a Monday edition on StreamYard, and then, uh, let's see, oh, back up uh, Sunday, went to Friday's Restream TV, Monday, Thursday, Saturday, StreamYard TV, Tuesday, Melon TV, that's going to be random, and then, of course, uh, basically every day was the plan to, to kind of do some uh, random audio uh, uploads and podcasts, but I, like I said, with the Wi-Fi being out, uh, <laughs> it's not helping, it doesn't help having, you know, really sporadic, uh, you know, ep or Wi-Fi connection that, you know, we rely on it uh, <laughs> for for the uh, podcast. And, you know, you guys that are on a lot of it, we rely on our Internet. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, <laughs> there's no Internet. Uh, it's it's uh, basically kind of piggybacking off the phone. So. Uh, it works, you know, I'll make it work, uh, do what I can here. So, yeah, we'll see. I, like I said, I got the episode over on Melon TV uh, this afternoon, and then later on tonight about 11 should be StreamYard. Now, again, I think I might change that out. I do want to finish up the last couple of verse or chapters. Uh, I got 38 and 40, and then basically 38 to 42. Now, I might just wrap that up all in one episode, one podcast, and just concentrate on the last... A uh, few chapters, 38 to 42 there. But we'll see. Like I said, I never know. Stay tuned. Stick around. Come back, my friends. Bring your Bibles. Let's have some church. Uh, yeah, let's uh, close out radio.co. If I can find the mouse. Where's the mice? The mouse. That's right. Uh, there it is. All right. Uh, radio.co. May 27th is Pastor Rick Ministry Podcast. Network doing a rebroadcast from Sunday, May 12th. Friends, it's supposed to be up on Restream TV. Never got a chance. So here we are, closing out on the radio edition, podcast edition, Spreaker.com, radio.co. I appreciate you guys. Channel 3. Uh, I'll talk to you on the next broadcast. Friends, take care. Have a good one. Blog Talk Radio, Anchor, CastBox, and more. You guys take care. I'll talk to you. On the next broadcast podcast, my friends, precious friends, brothers and sisters, Pastor Rick, Ministry Podcast Network. Talk to you soon, friends. Take care. See you soon. Uh, da, 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 da. And our backup line on Channel 3. Get that DB in the mix. <laughs> hey, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you're running mixers, you got it, friends. Hey, man. Take care. That's it. I'll talk to you on the next broadcast, friends. Have a good one. See you soon. Back, uh, Channel 3, Backup Spreaker. Amen, friends. Talk to you soon. Take care. All right. All right, all right, all right. There it is. And you guys on Channel 1, our main line 1A. Channel 1A. Line Take care, friends. Have a good one. Uh, and again, I'm, yeah, uh, <laughs> pray for, uh, pray for family, friends, uh, stay close to them, friends, uh, forgive those that have, uh, trespassed against you and y'all know, amen, friends. All right, brothers and sisters, take care. Uh, come on back. Got a lot more for you, friends. A little after 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in the studio, Studio A, Pastor Rick, Ministry Podcast Network, friends, live on Spreaker.com, friends. Uh, take care, and this will be uploaded and posted out to all the channels. Thank you guys again for all your support, patience, and your prayers during these times here, friends. Take care. Have a good one. And see you soon, friends. Take care. Thank you.